You had something through the mail, open the package and there's a cassette tape. Can you remember when you were the first, yeah, the first period of Pestilence, the 80s, early 90s period? Uh, right. Was that for you then also already, or were you also looking for a sort of, yeah, maybe teenage anger or brutality that you want to put into it? Because that's maybe something that's absent in the music you mentioned in a way. Right. Um, well, at that young age, I, of course, I was not listening to jazz. If I was exposed to jazz by then, I would have been a, a so much better musician, I guess. But back then, I was still listening to, uh, you know, bands like Kiss and, 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 and ACDC and stuff like that, you know. Um, but um, I, I've always found that that music is okay, but it's, it's not brutal enough, you know. And, and when I started to hang out with people that were into tape trading, um, I started to realize that in this big world that there's uh, lots of bands that are like making like heavy music, you know, and I wanted to just be a part of that. Can you, can you name or remember one time that you maybe got one tape that really opened your eyes in a certain way? Oh yeah, that was like, uh, definitely that was um, uh, early uh, Mantas tapes. Oh, that's like the previous to death. Oh yeah. So, uh, you know, I was listening to them like, oh, okay, uh, these guys are, you know, they're, they're onto something, so it's getting big, and, and I just uh, they just gave the answers that I really wanted to, you know, do in my own music. I'm like, okay, now now I have like some good competition here, so I can start my own band. Do you know where, where did the tape the tape came from? Did it came from other side of the world, or came? Yeah, it came from America. It was like, and, and my good uh, my good friend back then, uh, we were, uh, you know, he was a tape trader, and he, he got the tape. You know, it, back in those days, you had something through the mail. It's not like internet. You had something through the mail. Open the package, and it's a cassette tape. You know, it's cassette, and it's a bad quality, but it, at least it is something from overseas. You put it in, and and everything is not in sync, but it's like brutal. And everybody would come together and and would listen to it. And we'll be like, damn, that's some good shit. You know, so those moments are very. Um, very magical for me because nowadays everybody just like rips shit from the internet and the album is, uh, is out before uh, the album is out, let's say, you know, uh, a month before already. People put it on mp3 and they burn it and then that's history. Are you a little bit sad about how the, the technology changed and with that also maybe the little bit the magic moment that you just described? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, I think the magic moment magic moment is gone is when this society now is like on f quick fixes you know it's with everything you know everything has to be done really quick and if you don't get it in time you, you're gonna complain or this and that you know even with even with your job if, if you're at your job even you uh, you have to make sure that uh, th that thing is done and it has to be online whatever and if it's not finished you're gonna have to go rush make sure that it's online on time everybody's got deadlines you know mm -hmm. back then it was such a free moment when you got the tape and and, and you, you listen to it and it gives you it gives you a great moment and now it's like okay i i taped i i i um i burned a new pestilence but i also burned a new morbid angel and i burned this and i burned that and that, that. what you shall know? i play uh, yeah what uh, shall i play there's so many possibilities right now yeah. i guess that's the whole thing there's too many possibilities right now back in the old days you had like a, a bunch of bands you know, and that were your favorite bands, Slayer, Possessed, um, um, uh, Death, um, Cannibal Corpse, Deicide, and that's it, you know. And now you have a whole range of bands that are out and it's difficult for people to choose and it's even more difficult to realize that the early bands, wh where they came from and what they had to do to achieve what they have Mm -hmm. achieved now. Have you ever maybe now as a band people want to, to get their music out way quicker maybe than back then you had maybe more time as you just described. Was this this deadline stress that people have maybe more nowadays than then? Was that something you experienced at a certain point also in, in your career or with festivals? Well, um, back in the old days, uh, we were so happy that we had a record deal with, with Roadrunner and later Road Racer that um, um, we felt that we didn't really have anything to say about anything, you know. Everything uh, was done for us and then um, it, we got some hideous album cover and, uh, okay, th this is Consuming Impulse, we're like, wow, you know. Uh, but, but nowadays, uh, you know, the, the things have changed and people are more uh, outgoing and people uh, are more able to speak their own mind uh, about stuff you know so um, we we hope hopefully we can we can say a little bit more and have a little bit more uh, uh, saying and, and word in how our things are going in in in, uh, in in the new future for example mm -hmm.